Hi, my name is Jordan and I'm a student ambassador here at Lindenwood University. I'm a senior studying accounting and Spanish with a minor in fashion design. I am super involved here at the university. I am an athlete and I'm a two-time national champion in the sport of cheerleading. I'm a founder of the newest sorority here on campus. I was named student leader of the year and I currently hold the title for Miss Lindenwood. We're gonna start our tour off here at Spelman Center. Um, on the third level, we have a lot of our important offices that you'll be stopping by very frequently. So behind me, we have our university undergrad and graduate admissions. They're going to help you get fully enrolled here at the university, and this is where your admissions counselor will be housed. Down this hallway on the left side, we have our Lindenwood Station, which is our student financial services and our academic services. They're going to help you with all of the paperwork, so your FAFSA, your transcript release, your payment options, all of the paperwork you do once you're a student here. We have our our International Admissions Office, they help all of our international students become actual students here at Lindenwood. And then on the fourth floor above the front desk, we have our Safety and Security Office. They're available 24-7 to any student. And this is also where you would go to pick up a parking pass. Parking is completely free here at Lindenwood, and you can park anywhere you want besides the handicap spots, the president spots, those kind of spaces. As you can see, our classrooms are pretty small. Our student to teacher ratio on average is 17 to one. So we have those really small classroom sizes that you're used to in a typical high school setting. And your general education courses, so your first year or two here at the university, we try to cap off your students at 30 students, but you will never have more than 35. Inside the room itself, we always have a computer with a projector for our teachers to utilize. We have a whiteboard or a chalkboard or both, and then we added this new OWL technology. So this tower speaker looking thing is what we call our owls. The top of the owl is a 360 degree camera and the rest of the owl is a speaker. So the speaker will detect where in the room there is sound coming from. The camera will focus in on that spot and record and we will have actual live recordings of all classes uploaded to your canvas in live time and then you'll be able to go back and watch these videos up to two weeks after the class is over. Behind me is one of the two major cafeterias that we have on campus. This one is on the second level of Spelman and it includes four major food stations. So we have our Chick-fil-A, we have Qdoba, we have our grill spot which is hamburgers and hot dogs, things fresh off the grill, as well as potato sides like french fries and tater tots. And then we have a sub hub which is our version of a subway. We do the deli style sandwiches, hot soup, potato salad, and chips as sides. We have Pepsi products across the entire campus and a large dining hall facility behind me where you can sit in and eat your food. Your freshman year, you will be given the traditional meal plan, which is 19 block meals a week. That is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Friday, and brunch and dinner on Saturdays and Sundays. So it is a meal every single time it's offered on campus. We also give you an additional 50 dining dollars in the fall and 50 dining dollars in the spring semester. It's just $50 for you to spend on whatever you want on campus. If you want to grab an extra milkshake from Chick-fil-A after dinner, great. If you want to grab an extra coffee from Starbucks after breakfast, awesome. It's $50 to spend on whatever you want. All right, so right here we are at the foundation of where Linwood University started off. So this is our Sibley Hall. This is a female dorm and it's named after our founder, Mary Sibley. So back in 1827 when Linwood was founded, there was actually a log cabin structure that stood in this place. So in 1860, we were growing and expanding. So we decided to tear down that log cabin and we built this building as we see it today. So the structure has been standing since 1860. It is the oldest building on our campus. This is the one building that was Linwood University back in 1860 and this is the beautiful campus that we've grown into almost 200 years later. We're standing in the makerspace right now. This is where made, all of our major art studios are located. So inside here we have ceramics, we have wood shop, we have 3D printers and laser engravers. We have old style printmaking classic traditional painting. Um, there's so much that goes on in this facility. We'll have multiple classes running at each time. Um, we have a lot of different equipment and different mediums for you guys to produce different pieces of artwork. So you might have class back here. And if you're an art student, you can come back here and complete all of your projects during the week. So this building right here is our Romer Hall. This is commonly referred to as the School of Education. However, a lot of our general education courses take place within this building. So we normally have English, history, foreign language, and religion classes happen within here, as well as all of the major education courses. 
So Young Hall is our School of Science and Mathematics. It's home to biology, chemistry, psychology, sociology, basically all of the ologies. Uh, we teach our lectures there, we have our laboratories within the building, all of the math classes, and then we have a greenhouse at the bottom of the building that the students help run. And then we have the Memorial Arts Building. This is commonly referred to as our School of Criminal Justice. Um, so if you take any criminal justice classes, they will happen in that building as well as your teacher's offices will be located there as well. So these really old trees that sit on our historic side of campus, these are the linden trees in which we were named after. So the term linden wood comes from linden trees and these trees have been standing for almost 200 years. These are represented in the grove by the window structures that we have on the outskirts of the building to show where our, the history and our name comes from. So we also have our Harmon Hall. This is our Robert W. Plaster School of Business and Entrepreneurship. All of our business courses take place within this building. We do have a small career services center within the business school to help our business students network early on, create those LinkedIn and Handshake profiles, and hopefully get internships that they can have prior to graduation. Hello, my name is Andres. Um, I come from Caracas, Venezuela, so I'm an international student here at Lindenwood. Um, I'm part of a men's soccer team, and I'm majoring in computer science. Over here, we have our Library and Academic Research Center. Um, it's actually our newest building on campus. Um, it was built three years ago, so it was open in the summer of 2017. This area that we can see over here, it's gonna be called a Grove. These where um, you're gonna be studying with your friends, you're gonna be doing some homework, waiting between classes, just some seating area so you can wait. Um, just as you walk into our library, you can find our Starbucks. It's gonna be included in your meal plan. So basically you can get Starbucks every single day of your life. Over here, we're gonna have our circulation desk. Basically, if whatever you need from the library, you can always go to the desk and ask for it. They do have calculators, laptops, headphones, markers, whatever you need, you can always go over there. Um, also, if you ever need a book that we don't have available for you here at our, at our library, you can always go and ask them to find it in other libraries. Right next to our circulation desk, we're gonna have our IT help desk. If you ever have any trouble with your laptop, with your Canvas account, with your Microsoft account, you can always go to the desk and they will sure help you. If you take a look to these windows, they do look like trees. That's why our name comes from the, from the linden tree. Um, that's why we're called Lindenwood. So they try to simulate how those trees um, actually look at the windows. So on this side of the library, we're gonna have all of our books as you can see right behind me. If we walk through here, we're gonna have a cool feature that was added to this library. As you can see, we have moving bookshelves. So you just need to press this button if you wanna access this L over here. So we're gonna press the screen, move, it will start moving. The cool thing about it is that it does have sensors on the bottom, so it cannot squeeze you, or if you see someone that you don't like, it's not like you can squeeze that person. But other than that, um, we do have all of our books over here. Um, we also have our online database where there's a lot of resources, especially if you ever need to write a paper. It's a cool feature to go over there and check the resources. So right now we're in the second floor of our library. As you can see, we do have some seating area over here. Um, this seating area is designed so you can study and do some homework um, on our library. Right over here, we're gonna have three individual study rooms. These are first come, first serve. So if you see one available, you can always jump in and use it. Super helpful if you ever wanna get focused, you don't wanna get distracted by any of your friends or any outside things. So you can get in there and get a good study session. Over on this side, we're gonna have three group study rooms, just like this one. Um, this can actually be reserved by students. If you go online 24 hours in advance, um, you can get this room for you and your team members to do some group projects. If you ever need to do a PowerPoint presentation, a paper um, with your whole group or classmates, you can always come over here and use these rooms. As you can see, you're gonna have a whiteboard over here. Um, it's gonna be provided with markers, so you can write down whatever you need. Right at the end of it, we're gonna have our TV. If, you turn on, if we turn on that TV, um, we can see a code where if you type in that code into your laptop, whatever you're doing in your laptop will start showing off in that screen. So super helpful if you're doing a PowerPoint presentation and you wanna be um, showing your classmates what you're doing. Um, you can always use this cool feature. Um, you can also use it for Spotify while you're studying. So, so really nice. 
So over here, we're gonna have our computer lab here at our, our library. As you can see, um, it's a room full of computers. If you ever forgot your laptop at your room and you wanna do some homework or you simply don't have a laptop, you can always come over here um, and use these computers. They will have all the software that you need in order to graduate. So that means that maybe you're taking a photography class and you need a Photoshop. Um, we're gonna have that software available for you in these computers. This will also work if you ever need to print something, um, you can use these computers. Printing is completely free for students, up to 500 pages. So over here, we're gonna have what I would say the most important office on campus. Um, it's called Career Services. This office will help you to get a job um, either while you're a student or once you graduate. They will help you on your job search. They do have a lot of connections with many companies around the St. Louis area, so that's always helpful. They will also help you to build your resume, your cover letter. If you ever need to practice an interview, you can always come over here and ask for that help. Every single semester, they will be hosting what it's called a career fair. So more than 100 companies will come to our campus and you can start networking with the recruiters of those companies. You can start giving out your resume, talking to them to see if they have any opportunities available at their company. Last but not least, um, they also have business attire. So let's say you forgot your business attire back home. You can always come over here and they will have that available for you so you can go to your interview. We do also have our study abroad office over here. Um, we do have more than 20 countries where you can go and study abroad. It's a great opportunity to go outside the country and learn new cultures. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can always come to this office and ask for the information. So over here, we're gonna have our gaming room. It's basically designed for game designers so they can come over here and prototype um, the games that they're creating. But it's also our gaming room for students to just come and hang out. If you ever wanna play some video games, we're gonna have Xbox Ones, PS4. Um, so you can see we have two TVs. We also have a PC with virtual reality where you can go over, over there and play some video games. But yeah, just a place to come, hang out with your friends if you wanna um, play some video games, wait in between classes, um, this room is gonna be available for you. So right now we're in the third floor of our library. As you can see, we have some seating places over here. This is where you come, especially if you wanna study or do some homework. Um, as you can see, we do have a big screen over here. It's gonna be used um, to display some information about our campus. As well, we're gonna sometimes play some sports over here um, on this screen. As you can see outside, right over here, we're gonna have some patio um, seating area. So whenever we have good weather outside, especially during the summer and the beginning of the fall, you can always go outside and get a good study session over there. So over here, we're gonna have our movie theater. As you can see right behind me, we have seats so people can, can come over here and watch a movie. It was actually designed so movie designers can actually come over here and try their movie, prototype it, see if it really fits on a real big screen like um, the big theaters. We also have our speakers, which are just like on a normal theater. We have what it's called our movie series. So every single Thursday at 7.30 p.m. we're gonna be playing a movie. So if you have nothing to do, you can always come over here and watch that movie. We're gonna have popcorn so you can watch that movie super comfortable. Other than that, this room is also gonna be used as a classroom sometimes. Um, as you can see, we do have the shades that come down and they are just a normal classroom seating area. Um, but mostly it's gonna be used as a movie theater. So right over here, we're gonna have a writing center, super helpful office here in the third floor of our library. Um, we're gonna have tutors that will help you improve your writing skills. If you ever have any English classes, literature classes, or any single class that you need to write a paper and you wanna improve that paper, you can always come over here and we will have those tutors for you available so you can use them. Um, and yeah, just a cool resource to use, especially on your freshman year where you're not that used that much um, on your college writing skills. So you can always come over here and they will help you improve that part. So this is our student and academic support services. We abbreviate this office and call it the SAS office. I call this office my go-to office when I have no idea where to go to on campus because they can help you with pretty much anything and everything. We do individual education plans, disabilities, emotional support animals, individualized tutoring and testing. You can get a peer mentor, a lion life coach, um, you can pretty much solve any of your problems here. So if you're struggling in any way, shape, or form, please stop by the SAS office and they're going to point you in the right direction or help you right out of this office. Right now we are in the foreign language lab. If you take a foreign language class like myself, you can actually receive help from a native speaker of that language inside this lab. So during my 
lower level Spanish classes. I actually came here 30 minutes every single week to have an oral conversation with a native Spanish speaker to help with the oral development of my language. So we offer Spanish, French, and Mandarin. So if you need help with any of those languages, you can come here and ask for help in your writing, your speaking, reading, whatever form of the language you are struggling with. All right, so this is a showroom and this is a freshman dormitory. So whenever you get a room on campus, you will get a desk with a chair, a bed with a mattress, and one of these dressers. Now, both of the beds right now are on one of their highest settings, but unfortunately, the metal bar that holds up the mattress is just a little too low and these dressers don't slide underneath it. If you get bed risers from any Walmart or Target local store, it'll make the bed high enough for these dressers to slide underneath it so you can open up the room a little bit more. You can stack the dressers, you cannot stack the beds. You can hang things on the wall. We ask that there are no nails. We love command strips. You can use thumbtacks as well. Um, you can bring a mini fridge, emphasis on the mini. It cannot be a full size refrigerator. You can bring your own TV. We do have TV outlets that you can connect to cable. It's not just channels two through 12. It's like Charter or Direct TV without that specific name brand. There will be a Wi-Fi router at the top of either your room or your suite mate's room and provides Wi-Fi for you, your roommate, and your two suite mates. However, it's all on separate accounts. You cannot bring crock pots, hot plates, open flames like candles. These are all fire hazards. However, we do offer a microwave in the lounge so you guys can all heat up your food. You will get your own individual closet. They are both the exact same size. Uh, there's a ton of storage space up top with a top shelf for you guys to put boxes and anything you would like to store. And then I normally put my shoes at the bottom of the closet. We also have a bathroom, so you and your roommate will share your bathroom with two suite mates that live on the other side of the bathroom. Within the bathroom, there are two sinks, one for each room. Underneath the sinks, there is a ton of storage space for you guys to put bathroom caddies, cleaning supplies, toilet paper, all of the good stuff. Next to the sinks, there are four individual shelves, so each person gets their own to put their toothbrush, their hairbrush, their toothpaste, all of their personal belongings. The toilet room inside the bathroom is a separate room. The door does close and lock, so somebody can utilize the restroom while somebody gets ready in the morning, and you guys will not disturb each other. You do have a shower that doubles as a bathtub, and across from that, there's four individual towel racks, one for each person. All right, so this is the lounge area in one of our dorms. Every single dorm's lounge area is gonna vary in size, shape, furniture, just depending on what the dorm has spent its budget on, what's been donated, and how they've rearranged the furniture for the upcoming year. Within the lounge, you will always be able to have access to a microwave to heat up your food, as well as have access to a TV for you guys to watch television, you can bring down Xboxes and PlayStation 4s, your computers and connect to HDMI um, and utilize the TV in any way you would like. The lounge is available 24 seven to any student that may need. If you need to be here at 3 p.m. just to hang out with friends, 3 a.m. for a late night study session, um, you're free to access this area any given time. All right, so right now we are in the Evans Commons Recreation Center and this is where a lot of the important resources that you will use as a student are located. Right here we have the mail room, so for any student that wants to receive mail on campus, it is completely free. It works as a PO system. We accept incoming mail and packages for any student. We cannot send anything out. The USPS across the street is more than happy to help any Lindenwood student with any outgoing mail and packages. Now on the other side, we have our laundry room. This is the largest laundry facility on campus and it's actually the only laundry facility that is not available 24 seven. Every single dormitory has about two to three washers and dryers in the basement of the building for you, available 24 seven to utilize at any given time. So this is where the other major cafeteria on campus is located. This is more of a cafe style cafeteria because we have many different stations where you can mix and match. What makes up a meal in this cafeteria is one entree, two sides and a drink. And we have many different stations for you to Try. We have a breakfast station which does cereal, we have a toaster and bagels and toast and anything you can imagine to put on top of that. We have a wonder work station that says you dream, we create. We do create your own omelets for breakfast and lunch and then we do a create your own international cuisine for dinner so it could be a create your own pasta bowl, buffalo wing, taco bar, multiple different things. We have a soup, salad and fruit bar and a dessert bar all included in this amazing cafeteria. On the third floor of Evans Commons, we have this amazing space called the Commuter Lounge. This is where commuters like myself can hang out and relax in between their classes. We also have a mini fridge and a microwave up here for us to store our food that we bring from home, as well as heat it up during the time that we're eating lunch on campus. 
All right, so we're standing outside of the new office for our Center for Diversity and Inclusion. We actually still have the ribbon on the door because we just did the ribbon cutting ceremony this past spring semester. Um, so this office has hit the ground running in terms of diversity programming. They plan a diversity week once a semester where each day in the week we celebrate a different area of diversity. Our president has created an equity and inclusion council with staff and faculty that will want to hear students' voices on how to better program for diversity and inclusion as well as how to better hear students' voices overall on campus. So this is our health and wellness center here on campus. This is where you would go if you're not feeling well, if you feel sick, or if you want to come talk to somebody. So there is no insurance, copay, or out-of-pocket expense to get seen in this office. Um, and this is more so for your basic illnesses. If you feel like you have the flu, cough, respiratory infection, ear infection, anything like that, you can come and get seen. The only thing that you're gonna have to pay for out of pocket is if you need a script or a medication to make you feel better. And this is also where our student counseling and health center is located as well. So if you're feeling really stressed and you wanna come talk to somebody once, if you really like the conversation and you wanna do it weekly reoccurring, we can set up therapy and talking sessions through our counseling center. And this is again, completely free, no insurance and no out of pocket expense needed for health for physical or mental health. So this is our Student Involvement Center. This is where you can get involved in over 80 different clubs and organizations that are here currently on our campus. This is home to our fraternity and sorority life. So currently we have three sororities and four fraternities on campus. We're very diverse in our fraternity and sorority life. We have uh, Panhellenic associations, we have Interfraternity Council, we do have a NALFO organization, it is a co-ed Latinx based organization called Alpha Psi Lambda. We also have our Campus Activities Board that comes out of this office, so it is a student run organization that plans all of the big campus events that you can take part of for free here on campus. We also have our student in government out of this office which helps enact change on campus. They helped make us a tobacco free um, campus a couple years ago. And we also have all 80 plus other organizations in this office. All of the flags in this building represent somebody from that country who's touched down on our campus. So myself being a Spanish major, I'm very big on diversity and I love that we have a physical representation of how diverse our campus really is. This is our residential life office. This is where you can come to find out about where you're living. If you have any questions about your housing situation, they'll be able to answer any questions. So this is the gym part of our recreational center and this is where you can come our, out come to work out arms, legs, abs, whatever part of the body you would like. We do have a CrossFit room over in the corner, um, and then we have tons of different equipment for you guys to utilize. Behind the front desk, we'll have rollers, yoga mats, basketballs, volleyballs, all you have to do is ask. We host classes in our group, group exercise workout room, um, like Zumba, yoga, beginner's dance, spin, um, completely free, so you can take those classes at any time during the semester. I always like to point out that this gym area right here is an individual gym. We do have an Olympic weightlifting gym that our athletic teams and coaches can reserve to have their team workouts. So you don't ever have to feel that you are intimidated or that the gym is going to be taken over by a bunch of athletes because this is, it is very much an individual gym. Inside the recreational center, we have four different courts. We have three indoor basketball courts that are all separated by a mesh curtain. This one is normally set up for volleyball and the other two are set up for basketball. We also have a fourth court over there, which is our multi-purpose court. So we are inside one of the locker rooms here in the rec center. We have both a men and a women's locker room. Inside here, we have mini lockers for you guys to put your things. They do not have locks, so you can bring your own locks. We also have bathrooms and showers in here for you guys to utilize the restroom or shower before or after your workout. And then outside of the locker rooms, we have water fountains for you guys to fill up your water bottles or grab a nice drink after a busy workout. All right, so we are standing in the Highland Arena. This is where major indoor sports normally take place. Behind me is where basketball, volleyball, gymnastics, and wrestling practice and have their game days. Um, cheer and dance will also practice and perform within this facility as well. We have 360 degree seating, so bleachers will come down in all four sides. Underneath the left side bleachers, that is where our wrestling room is located, so they have their own private space to practice and their locker rooms within there. And above those coaches' offices are a lot of the schools that we play within our division. Inside the Highland Arena, this is also where our Hall of Fame is located. Um, so we have a lot of our athletic trophies and plaques and banners on display in here. And I always make the small joke that if you do want to be an athlete here, we hope that you eventually put something in our Hall of Fame that you can come back and look at back on. My favorite banner is around the corner at the front of the building. It is the cheer uh, trophy and banner that I helped bring to the Hall of Fame. And I'm very proud every single time I enter the building to be able to look at it. 
We also have a concession stand that's open during game time at both our indoor and outdoor arenas. Um, we do have an athletic theme of One Roar, so you'll commonly see hashtag One Roar. Um, I interpret this theme as um, we all play different sports at different times on different fields and in different schools, but at the end of the day, we all have a lion head on our chest. We all want each other to succeed and come back champions, and so we all support each other regardless of what sport we play. So we are standing in the Jay Scheidegger Center for the Arts. This is where a lot of our fine art majors find their home. This building was originally opened in 2008 with a performance from Liza Minnelli, and it's been one of the most busy buildings on campus ever since. This is the box office. So as a Lindenwood student, you are going to get two free tickets to any Lindenwood put on production, and you could pick up those tickets anywhere here. Um, and then if you are a student involved in the production in any way, shape, or form, you are going to get four free tickets to any student production. So over here we have our fashion design department. So right now we're looking at a mini collection that was made by one of our students named Rachel. And this collection actually showed and walked at New York Fashion Week. So our fashion students get to travel to many fashion capitals of the world. We've been to Los Angeles, we've been to New York, we've done trips to London, Paris, and Milan. So we constantly want you to have that hands-on experience being deep into the fashion world as well as creating your own custom looks. So we are standing in one of the fashion studios where all of our fashion design and technology students will come and create all of their amazing outfits that will eventually walk the runway. So we have a fashion show once every single semester. So we will have a preview show during the day around noon and then we have an evening show to show off all of your mini collections and the designs from the previous semester. So we are inside one of the two dance studios that we have here in the Jay Scheidegger Center for the Arts. If you take any dance class, you'll actually have dance within one of these studios. It's also used by any individuals that want to freestyle after class and our dance teams for their routines for competition. We have a full stereo system in here so you guys can hear your music through any of the speakers. We also have bars and mirrors for you guys to be able to watch yourself. We have a whiteboard and a projector for teachers to be able to show videos, lecture, and show you different techniques that you can use in your dance class. Classes. So we are inside one of the two major digital art studios that we have here in the Jay Scheidegger Center for the Arts. Inside these digital art studios, we will have MacBook computers as well as a 4K Apple TV. So you guys can work on the different programs that are needed to utilize your digital art skills, as well as blow them up on a bigger screen like our 4K TV to see all of the little details. Behind me, we have a lot of inspirational quotes um, and beautiful artwork that can help you um, have encouragement and keep continuing on in some of your bigger projects that you find throughout the semesters. Behind the major theater in the Jay Shai, you have a lot of different choir rooms, orchestra rooms, band rooms, a lot of music places where you guys can produce, learn, and be a part of different music. This room right here is a choir room, but we have a marching band, we have a regular band, we have different choirs. Um, so we have a lot of different musically talented groups and individuals that practice and perform within this facility. We actually have our own record label called Push Records. It allows those music business students to be able to see the record making side of the business. We have rooms that range from a single individual room all the way up to a room that could fit a group that a band could practice in. We are within the Boyle Family Art Gallery here in the Jay Scheidegger. This is where a lot of our art students' work will actually be put on display. Um, so throughout this semester, every month or two, we're going to switch the different collections that are within here. My favorite collection, though, always happens around November. It's called Young Artists and Their Teachers. It doesn't actually include a single Lindenwood student in that show. It's actually all high schoolers from their the area around here and their teachers. So it shows those high school students what it would be like to pursue art as a career rather than just as a passion, as well as what it would be like to be an art student here at Lindenwood and have your work put on display every single year. So we're standing in one of the two major theaters that we have here. This is our Lindenwood Black Box Theater. It is the smaller of the two theaters, but this theater is very, very cool because it's like the name says, it's a big empty black box. There's no permanent seating, there's no permanent stage. We truly set up and tear down for every single show that happens here. So we've had dance concerts in here, we've done improv shows, we've done some specialty plays. One of my favorite plays was actually done on a disc. So there was three different settings of the stage for the play itself and every single new scene they would rotate the stage so there would be a new scene. The 
actors didn't actually have to walk off set, they just waited for them to be out of view and then they could simply step off of the disc. So we've done a lot of really cool shows, features. We are able to really design this area to what we want it to be. And it's very, very cool whenever you get to see a show within the black box. All right, so we are standing in the major theater in the Jay Scheidegger Center for the Arts. This is where a lot of our major plays and shows happen. Um, it is a two-story theater. It seats approximately 1,200 students. Um, and we like to brag that the stage itself is a foot larger in each direction than the Fox Theater downtown, which is the major theater here in St. Louis. Um, but the seating is a lot more intimate. It's about five times smaller, so you get a lot more intimate of a show. Behind me is the major stage where we have all of our plays, musicals, we've had our band and orchestra concerts, we've had dance concerts, um, we've done a lot of different events on this stage. So we've had a lot of famous individuals that have stepped through the halls of the Jay Scheidegger. So we've had musical guests like Waka Flocka Flame and Mike Posner put on free student concerts for us. We've also had guest speakers like Jay Leno, Howie Mandel, Stephen King, the author of the book It. We have a lot of major um, plays as well as celebrities and guest speakers. Some of you may not know this, but Lindenwood does have its own TV and radio station. Our radio station is called 89.1 The Wood, and our TV station is simply LUTV. You can actually tune in on the radio or in a TV in your dorm and watch your students on the screen. So in this television station, students cover everything from news to sports to weather to even some game shows. They have a green screen, they have a beautiful recording desk, um, they have a control room, they have pretty much all of the equipment that they would ever need to learn how to accurately report and be live on air in a real TV studio. Thank you very much for joining into our real tour tour today. Remember that if you have any questions, um, you can always uh, reach out to us here in the admissions office and we'll answer those questions to you. Um, hopefully we'll see you on campus soon. Bye.